stand on the fringe between talking loud and saying nothing. And often my rage burns persistent like the equatorial sun. My fortune can usually be found shining bejeweled on my wrists or dangling from my neck in precious metals like a noose fit for the spook who sat on his ass for too long by the door. I find myself marveling at the fact that one's either a pimp or a whore here, trying to fly the clear blue skies and then caress the great American titty at the same time. Brothers walking the line between blackness and getting their ass busted wide open by Afrocentricity. Now I understand why brothers from other continents think we ain't shit on sight. Fall apart in the great US of A. Toilet bowl of the world. Pristine white and full of shit. Downright confusing to any who give into its gaze of melting pot fantasy turned mongrel stew daydream. Hey, you know, maybe they'll start calling us blacks Indians and us Indians colors and us colors bantus and hot pots. Brothers, I know, find a way to make it hit. And then hop their way to the NAACP for some more superficial smoke screens to lay over the rest of the crew. And then we can get back to doing what we do best shooting down our own stars in the night. And sleeping with one eye open to welcome the safety of the morning light. Where to 
Living the deep shit. 